After her legendary career at the University of Iowa, Caitlin Clark is now a member of the WNBA's Indiana Fever, as they made her the first overall pick in the 2024 WNBA Draft Monday night. Wednesday was Clark's introductory press conference with the local Indianapolis media. And, longtime area journalist Greg Doyle made things incredibly awkward. Why would Greg Doyle, a mid 50s man, allegedly ever make a heart with his hands towards a young woman? Then, add on the fact that he's working in his professional capacity as a sports journalist, and it's inexcusable behavior. The entire exchange comes off really bad. Where was his question in there? What was his purpose in this stunt? It's surely not the start that the state's biggest newspaper, the Indianapolis Star, wants with arguably the state's highest profile athlete. For many in the state, it's further confirmation that Greg Doyle is not very likable. Surely, the rest of Caitlin Clark's tenure as a member of the Indiana Fever will go much better. The guard left Iowa as the NCAA's all time leading scorer, with just under 4,000 career points. The two time National Player of the Year captivated audiences across America and took women's basketball to new heights. Seemingly every game she played in the 2024 NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Tournament set new viewership records, with Iowa's loss in the finals to South Carolina being watched by just under 19 million people. The WNBA draft set viewership records on Monday night, increasing by over 300% from last year. And, her jersey has already sold out, with new orders not expected to be delivered until August. Nearly all of Clark's games are going to be on national television, and this is a generational opportunity for the WNBA to quickly grow in popularity. Hopefully that growth in popularity means that they can cut off access to people like Greg Doyle from doing stunts at press conferences like this.